Hi everyone, Miss Kramer here. We're now going to be working on step two of our Zentangle pumpkin project. So if you don't have this pumpkin set and ready to go for today, then you need to go back to step one and work on your pumpkin. So you look back and see if you can find step one and do your pumpkin be ready for today. We're gonna to be talking about warm and cool colors today. So our warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. We're gonna be using those in the pumpkins. And then in the background, we're gonna use green for grass, and then we're gonna use blue and purple. Another word for purple is violet, violet in the sky. And I'm gonna show you how to do that a little bit later on. So right now we're actually gonna do some practice work with um, getting our Zentangle designs going. And Zentangle is just uh, um, artist designs with different lines and maybe different shapes sometimes too, but usually it's lines and sometimes there's shapes involved. So first thing we're gonna do, I already have mine ready. So you need to have a blank piece of paper and I'm gonna have you fold it short, short side to short side. So fold it like a book. Use the table to help you and push down on the middle and crease it. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just practice. So now once you have it folded in half like a card or a book, now you're going to take short side again, short side, short side, and fold it again. So we're going to fold it one more time that way. And that's going to create a smaller book or like a little... Um, card. If you guys have ever seen a little miniature cards, that's kind of what those look like. Now we're going to do one more fold. Short side to short side. Fold it one more time. And when you open it up, you're going to have eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you open it up, you'll see that. So open it up, and then that's how we do magic, increasing our papers as an artist. I have already actually taken a black and traced my folds so I can see my areas better. So I recommend that you do that too. I'm using marker, but if you don't have marker, you can use crayon for this also. So I took my black marker and traced that. And what I'm going to do is show you some lines. There's an example of a finished up here. And I know it's a little hard to see, so maybe um, once the recording, you can pause it and maybe zoom up on it. So I'm going to try my best to show you some different designs. So we're going to start, the first design is going to be what's called a zigzag line. And students I've had before know how to do this. It just kind of looks like little mountains, up, down, up, down. And you're just going to create a zigzag pattern where you just copy this zigzag all the way down till you run into the bottom of the section. And then I'm going to create an additional zigzag with my orange. So I used my red. Now I'm going to use my orange because we're just sticking with our warm colors for our designs and our pumpkins. So now I'm going to stick my orange in between and create what's called a repeat pattern where I have red, orange, red, orange, red, orange. Repeated. So that's one line you can use. Another line is called wavy line. And I'm going to make my wavy come straight down like it's falling and I'm just going to curve it. Wavy line. Bring it all the way down. Wavy. All the way down and just curve, curve, curve. So just follow what I do. And you can use um, yellow. Yellow is not going to show up great on the video but you can also use yellow on yours and in your design you'll be able to see the yellow better it's hard to see on mine because the video isn't the greatest so wavy lines now on this one up here where i did my wavy lines i actually decided to do something a little bit different not only did i do wavy lines come down I did wavy lines across, so you can see the difference in these two. This is just wavy lines coming straight down, and then that's down and across. So you could do that if you'd like to. The next line is a jagged line. A jagged line has one tall and two small. One tall and two small. It looks like kind of like shark teeth. So I'm going to do one tall, two small. 
one tall, two small. And I'm just going to copy that and create my jagged line. So this is just a way that artists use line to create design. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use my orange for this one and copy that as well. So you can see in um, the example above, I did the same thing, red and orange. But you could use orange and yellow, or you could use red and orange like I am doing. So up to you. But we have these three colors that we're going to be working with for our pumpkins. And then there are diagonal lines. Diagonal lines go kind of across the way. So straight up and down, which is vertical, or sideways, which is horizontal. Diagonal actually has an angle to it. So in the diagonal lines, what you're going to do is just go from one side and come down across to the other side. So you're just going to come at like almost like a slide, like you're coming down a slide, and the slide would be a diagonal. So I'm going to bring that in here. I'm going to actually add some yellow to this one. It'll be hard for you to see the yellow. So I'm going to do that. And then you could add orange, red, orange, and yellow in this one. I think I'm going to do that. I didn't do it on the top one. I just did red and or or orange and yellow. So I'm going to do it here and add my di diagonals with all three colors. So you can see kind of how that looks. Now the next line is called a loopy line. It's a fun line. You might remember when we did our pumpkin, we did a loopy line. So when you do your loopy line, you just come across, curve it up and around, up and around, up and around. So this one's a little trickier, but I know the students I've had before, we've done this line before. So you might remember doing it when you were younger, a loopy line. And then another really cool Zen design is a spiral. Spirals are fun because you start in the middle and you just go around and bigger and bigger and bigger until you crash into something. So around, bigger, 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 bigger to crash into maybe the edge. So right here, I'm going to crash. I'm actually going to come crash again. So I'm going to create my spiral. Start here and go right around, crash. Here, crash. So spirals are fun because it's just following around, spinning. And then I created some bubbles where I just take my um, marker and I create different sizes. And different sizes. And I'll show you how to make it look like a bubble in just a few minutes. So you have like little bubbles. And there's actually lots of different kinds of Zen designs. You might be able to come up with your own designs with lines. You can see in this last one I used hearts. Hearts are fine to use. You could actually use hearts and lines together. So you could have the hearts kind of floating around and then use some lines in with that also. So you can actually combine any of these together to create Zen designs. So Zen tangles are just basically a design that you come up with and we could try and use some of the basic things that we already know like zigzag, wavy, jagged, diagonal, spiral, loopy lines. So we use those. We just try and create designs out of them. So I'm going to show you how to make the bubble because that one's kind of fun. I actually color it in. So I'm going to color in my bubbles and I'm not going to do all of them. You can get the idea if I just do a few of them. And then what you do is you take a black marker and you trace around the outside of it. And then you put just a, like, a little curve line in the corner. So right up here at the top edge of the circle, you just put like a little curve line. It makes it look like a bubble. So right in here, bubble. Now black is a great thing to use when you are actually doing some what we call outlining. So if you look up here, I outlined all of my hearts with black. I actually copied my spiral with black and just followed it around. So then it made my spiral stand up a little bit better. And it actually helps to what we call highlight 
or my students who I've had before know that we trace a lot of times on our um, colors or on the edge of a shape to make it stand out. So black is a great thing to use to help kind of add a little extra to your designs. So I want you to just practice your Zen designs, your Zen Tangle designs. And these are just eight examples of that. It's kind of simple, basic examples. And you can use this guideline or you can actually maybe come up with some of your own. So I want you to try that. And that's going to be step two of our project. Then I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So practice away and you can actually practice more than eight times. If you want to get another paper and do some more, please do. And when you're done with your practice, take a picture of it and send it to me on Seesaw. Okay?